Hi folks, Dr. Bob McCauley. Uh, I'm going to talk about supplements today. I got to, I just got to tell you this. You know, I'm a cat person, and I'm having a rough day because you know, my favorite cat, Dee Dee. Here's Dee Dee. Um, she's not doing very good. She's 20 years old, so um, she's lived a big, long cat life. But she's kind of maybe on her last day, so pretty tough for me here. But um, anyway, having said that, supplements. I hear all the time um, this big controversy. Do you, do you take supplements? Well, yeah, I take a ton of supplements. Now, what is a supplement? Something you you know you're you know you're supplementing to your diet. So you like I say all the time, you can't supplement your way to health. So in other words, if you're going to eat a garbage diet or cooked food diet or meat and potato diet um, or a fast food diet or processed foods or you're going to go get a pizza and that's uh, every Thursday and this is the way you eat, supplements are going to help, but you're not going to be healthy. So you can't supplement your way to health. You have to get to the diet. Now, I'm, I'm a, a raw food vegan as they call it these days, whatever. I'm a raw foodist. I eat raw fruits and vegetables. I mean, they haven't been changed by cooking. If you think if you think cooking your food releases the nutrients, that's not true, and you're not thinking at all. Um, that's not how it, it works. That's just not how you know, cooking releases the nutrients. You can't get beta carotene unless you cook the carrots, and we've heard that for years. Where's the evidence for that? That's just that's just nonsense. Like you got to cook something to get at the nutrients. You know, the human body, the animal bodies, all the animals out there, you know, we have different types of digestive tracts and they're built to, to, to digest and extract different types of nutrients. But supplements, you know, what you're doing, I mean, again, we live in this age, you go to the supermarket, look at the variety of fruits and vegetables you can get in the supermarket these days. Um, I know a lot of them are sprayed, they're not all organic or whatever, but did we ever have that in human history where you could walk into a supermarket and get that many types of different you know, greens? And I mean, you got pretty much almost anything you want in there. Fruit. I eat the fruit that's in season, so whatever happens to be coming around, like when blueberries come in, in the, in the, in the uh, spring, then I eat blueberries. When apples, right now I'm eating apples. Tons of these are just off my friend's tree. I got these apple, uh, you know, these Asian pears. Oh, my gosh, tons of them. And they're so delicious. But um, so I eat by the season. You know, asparagus is in the, in the, in the spring. Um, you know, arugula is maybe more in the spring. And then I got some planted, so it'll be in the fall. That's my favorite. Um, but I supplement all the time because you can take these foods just like you, you can concentrate them. And or you can, you know, ferment them and have these incredible nutrients your body requires. Like I'm working with somebody now. We're doing a fermented asasanthin. Wait till you see this stuff. I mean, this is pure asasanthin. Asasanthin is the king of carotenoids. I got some here. Um, this is just another one. Let me see here. Um, anyway, I got some I got some asasanthin, and that's made by Haematococcus algae. Well, the amount of asasanthin in there is very low compared to what we're having, which is pure fermented asasanthin. And that, you know, a molecule is a molecule, meaning when you've got an asasanthin molecule, you have an asasanthin molecule, and you can supplement with that. Salt palmetto is another one. You could never eat this stuff if they didn't do what they do to it, which is they go into the salt palmetto plant, which it looks like a big cactus plant grown out of the ground type of thing, you know. That grows in like Florida and Georgia. And then they go in it, and you better wear something because, you know, saw palmetto, those, those leaves look like saws. I mean, you'll cut yourself bad. And uh, they get this fruit, and then they clean off the fruit, and then they, you know, turn it into a big mash. And then they, um, you know, uh, they take it and they, you know, use CO2 supercritical supercritical CO2 so that they extract all the key nutrients. This is amazing stuff. This is the best sal palmetto you're ever going to find in the world. There's a lot of fake sal palmetto out there. Should be brownish, by the way. You know, ashwagandha. I love ashwagandha. I mean, you could get ashwagandha roots and you could boil them and eat them and eat and eat and eat. And here we are here. You're taking the root and you're concentrating it down and so this is a 2.5 percent alkaloid in here and this is incredible stuff I mean again you really couldn't you wouldn't and you wouldn't want to eat ashwagandha is not very tasty you know uh, the root I mean who would eat that so you've got these supplements here I you know here's NADH they want to take that one off the market that's great right so that's NADH that's what you know really helps your mitochondria which is why I love 
to supplement. Here's BSE, brown seaweed extract. That's concentrated kelp, four, 20 times concentrated. So what you've got, 40 times concentrated. So what you've got is, you know, you're taking this kelp and you're stripping off all the, you know, non-digestible fiber that we couldn't digest, and you're getting at the nutrients. you got the soluble fiber in there. This is an amazing product. Would you ever eat this by itself? It, it tastes really bad. I mean, to me, it's like really strong seaweed taste. Uh, every time we package this stuff, I know we're packaging it. Wow, it's, it, the smell is, you know, not that great. Here's uh, nitric oxide. Now, I take that right before I work out. I'm going to talk about a workout video here shortly. But uh, here's frankincense or boswellia. Frankincense, once again, we're concentrating the active uh, boswellic acid. We're concentrating that out of that. This stuff is amazing for the body. So you don't supplement? Well, don't supplement. But um, you can't, it's just so hard to get all your nutrients from um, just the, here's your acesanthin gel cap. See, that comes from the hematococcus. But it's so hard to be able to get these nutrients unless you take them and you put them, you know, distill them down and get the powders and then extract the powders and you get this stuff. Another one, for instance, is my minerals. Um, you know, that I have a full spectrum. I have individual minerals. Would you ever be able to get platinum or silver? You can make the silver yourself, but that you'd be making it. I mean, all these different types of supplements that we're given, I mean, I think they're a godsend as far as I'm concerned. It's amazing. We're in a, it's an amazing time we live in that we're able to get all these raw fruits and vegetables in the supermarkets and then on top of it all be able to get all these supplements. So do I supplement? Yeah, I take a ton of supplements. You know, I, another one is MSM. Um, that's like organic sulfur. That's really good for your nails. I start taking that and my nails grow really well. Well, I mean, you know, where are you going to get MSM? I mean, it's in, it's in some foods, but you're going to go out and eat all these different types of foods and make, think you're getting MSM when you supplement with it. And you know the source of your supplements. I don't get anything from China. Why do you think I don't? Because it's low quality. Um, but you, when you get things, you know, most of my supplements come from India, Taiwan, uh, a few other places um, and that I know the source of what, you know, I've been to the place. I've been to the planter. I built up a relationship with them. So I know we're getting quality supplements when I bring them in. But I supplement all day long. You would not believe the amount of supplements that I take throughout the day. Of course, bacteria, you know, probiotics, supplement those. Well, you're going to go get, you know, supplements. Acidophilus and bifidus has always been in our environment. But here we're able to, again, grow them and put them into a capsule and take them. I mean, it's amazing we can do all this and be as healthy as we want to be. And people still go to McDonald's. They still go to fast food joints. You know, I see uh, online, I look, you know, who's got the best chicken sandwich? And they got like 10 different chicken san sandwiches. You know, you go to these chicken places, I got to tell you, something like uh, Chick-fil-A or anything, they, you know, there's like 20 different ingredients. Why do they taste different? You know, gee, I wonder. You got a chicken sandwich, twenty di in the in the chicken patty, twenty different ingredients. What are those twenty ingredients? You can't even find out anymore. If you want to eat that kind of stuff and eat for the taste of food, you know, people are very uh, kind of whatever we want to call it, very high-minded about that, very arrogant, kind of look down at you. You know, like, you know, I I'm I'm here with my big burger. I'm here with my big chicken sandwich and you know this is really healthy it's not healthy you like the taste of it but it's not healthy so i'm a raw food vegan i'm a raw foodist whatever you want to call it but i supplement the hell out of things because i just see the incredible value of it and uh, anyway that's what i've been doing been doing it for many many years now and that's how i stay healthy you can't supplement your way to health but you sure can take your health to a whole new level with supplements dr bob that's what I do. Still healthy at 66. You know, doing something right. Water, that's another thing. See you next time.